Hey, what's up everyone? Artificial intelligence, AI, is an extremely hot topic right now in the world of business. Amongst all the amazing developments and interesting pictures it's created, one of the main conversations is about the jobs that it can potentially take. Initially with AI, people were worried about blue collar workers, as in factory workers, service delivery people, things like that. But with the invention of ChatGPT, we have seen the evolution of AI and how powerful it can be in white collar oriented jobs. So in today's video, I sit down with James Fishback, the founder of Azoria Partners and former head of macro trading at Greenlight Capital about what he thinks us young professionals can do to future-proof our careers against AI. I think his message is extremely important for anybody joining the workforce or in their career already. I know it certainly helped me. Enjoy. In one of your recent podcasts, you mentioned that with the innovation of AI, management consultants, investment bankers, kind of those white collar service jobs, those would be the first roles taken and affected by AI. I'm curious if you could expand on that. I, I, a lot of my audience is aspiring professionals in that space. Me personally, having worked in it uh, with a lot of friends doing the same, I'm curious what also could we do to then be better prepared for that oncoming innovation. I understand there's already so much that has happened, but what can we do to be future proof? Yeah. It, it's fascinating that white collar is the one that's really going to get the short end of the stick here, as opposed to what we've always thought, which was that blue collar was going to get automated away. But let's just start with a, a basic frame of reference and make a, one very conservative assumption. Take the technology of GPT-4, the open AI model. That technology, even if you assume that we are not one iota better than that technology, that we don't grow any more from here, any more advanced, right. it will still change everything. And I, I speak about this because we were thinking about hiring one additional analyst as we launch Azoria. And we chose not to because we're able to build these AI models. We're able to rely on this open AI infrastructure, right? We have API right. calls, so on and so forth that we don't actually need to do that. And so think just for a, a second, imagine what a first year analyst does at a JP Morgan, a Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs, right? Distill the news overnight in an email, ChatGPT4 yeah. can do that. Turn yeah. this data into charts, ChatGPT can do that. Look back at this Fed statement from 2017 and, and parse it, ChatGPT can sure. do that. Send an email to all of the clients with a salient pitch about the Fed meeting. ChatGPT can do that. And so think about the things that an analyst is expected to do today and think about the things that ChatGPT can do today. Right. And there's an unbelievable amount of overlap. Speaking of that overlap between the abilities of AI and the job responsibilities of an analyst, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Charlie. Charlie is an innovative AI tool that allows you to chat and interact with your documents reducing information overload and saving you a lot of time. Simply upload any document and start chatting. Charlie's AI analyzes and synthesizes the content of the document, which then allows you to ask questions, get accurate summaries, and retrieve specific information instantly. This is super helpful for summarizing news articles, and most importantly for this audience, finding data instantly in a large PDF like a company's quarterly earnings. As you can see, I just ask what the net income of the company was, and it quickly finds it in the 53rd page of the PDF. This is extremely helpful and can 10x your productivity. If you want to check it out on your own, you can visit the link down below in the description. Let's use AI to level up our careers. Now, let's get back to the video. There's an unbelievable amount of overlap. Certainly. It effectively replaces your mid-level data scientists. It replaces your copy editors. It replaces your newsletter writers. It replaces your research analysts. So to, to future-proof, you have to go above and beyond. You have to be able to do things that AI either can't do or AI can't do as well. And that's right. really about third order, second order, third order thinking about what the different effects of, of some change might be. Are you the person who can sit patiently and listen to an investor and answer their questions right. and really hold your own? And, and of course, be open to the idea that you may be wrong, 
but also right. be confident in your convictions and, and navigating those two extremes. And so there's much to be said about the deficiencies of artificial intelligence, but it's here, it's now, Certainly. and you don't have to make a lot of assumptions. I mean, you have to make a heck of a lot of assumptions that crypto is going to take over the US dollar, right? Yeah. But you don't have to make any assumptions of AI coming for white collar jobs in particular. I mean, you look at companies right. like Duolingo just announced this week, they're laying off a thousand contractors because AI can do it better, cheaper, yeah. faster without having to deal with any of those drawbacks, right? right? And so the biggest thing is how can you be authentic? How can you think on your feet? How can you be a repository for knowledge? But here's the biggest thing by far, these AI models, you have to come to them and ask for that information. It's inherently reactive. At some point, it will come to you and say, what do you need? But if you have to come to them, that creates still a level of friction. And right. so my biggest piece of advice for young men and women who are looking at this industry is be proactive. Go to the people that you work with. Go to your colleagues. Because ChatGPT is not going to knock on their door and say, hey, can I help you with something? Or, hey, I right. saw that email. Can I, can I get ahead of it for you? Or can I put out this research report? They would still have to go to ChatGPT. And they, that actually might not be a top priority. It's like, I've got to get the 15 other things. And yeah. so if you go to them first, if you are proactive, if you are helping them do things that they otherwise might not be doing or doing at a reasonable time frame, you are going to be an incredibly valuable asset.